Chapter 3, Lesson 6, Essential Question. How can you use base 10 blocks to model decimal subtraction? I am still having difficulties with my voice, so please bear with me. Today's lesson is similar to le yesterday's lesson in that you are going to be drawing quick pictures. So just as a reminder, the quick picture, a square represents the ones or the whole numbers. A line represents one-tenth and then a hundredth. I use circles but you could use little squares but that is what your quick pictures will be made up of. The materials do call for base 10 blocks but we are going to be using quick pictures in this video. So step A it says to use base 10 blocks to find 84 hundredths minus 56 hundredths. So the first thing you do is you draw a quick picture of only your first number. Generally, right now, it's going to be the larger amount. So you will use your quick picture to draw 84 hundredths. I will do it right down here to the right. Here is my quick picture. I have eight tenths. I grouped it in five and then three, and then four hundredths, so eighty four hundredths. Which, just to help a little bit, I'm also going to write the traditional algorithm. So I would have my decimal and eight four, which this is what a lot of you are wanting to do anyways. So you're going to see how it connects to the picture. Okay, so my model is 84 hundredths. Sub the next step is to subtract 56 hundredths. And so we start on the right. We start by removing 6 hundredths. So we need to think, do we need to regroup so we can subtract? I only have 4 hundredths right here. So am I able to take 6 away from just those 4? No, I am not. That means that yes, I do need to regroup because I can't take six hundredths away from only four. I need to break up a tenth. So I said, yes, I only have four hundredths and six is more than four. That's why I need to regroup. So how do I regroup? Well, using the traditional algorithm, I regroup my 8 to a 7, and my 4 becomes 14. So, I basically am doing the same thing. I am going to cross out one of these tenths and break it into ten hundredths, because that's what it takes to become a tenth. So now if I looked at them, I do have 14 hundredths right there. And so now, can I take away my 6? I can. And I'm going to cross out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those. So now the next step is to subtract the tenths. And we are taking away 5 tenths. So I'm going to start right here. 1, 2, Three, four, five. And then how much is left? Well, if I look at my quick picture, I can see that I have two tenths. So I have decimal, two, and how many hundredths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my answer is 28 hundredths, which if I do my traditional algorithm, 14 minus 6 is 8, and 7 minus 5 is 2. I have my decimal. It's the same thing. In today's lesson, I want you to focus on the pictures. I did this part right here just to see how it correlates and how it makes sense. So now, if we look at the draw conclusions, it says... What if you remove the tenth first and then the hundredths? 
explain how you would regroup. I drew the quick picture right over here. So basically they're saying if you took away the tenths first, which they want you to take away five, two, three, four, five, then you would do the hundredths. And I can't take six, so I still would just break up one of the tenths that I have and make the rest of this um, adding another ten. So I still would be breaking up one tenth into ten hundredths. That's what I wrote. I would still end up breaking a tenth into hundredths to complete the subtraction. So the next one says, if two decimals are both less than one, what do you know about the difference between them? So that means that they would need to be nine tenths minus something else that's nine tenths or less. So it would basically be nine tenths minus one tenth, let's think. What do we know about those? We know the sum or the difference, sorry, the difference, the difference will be what? We know that it will be less than one whole or less than one because if the greatest number that we're subtracting from is less than one, the difference between them is going to be less than one. Make connections. You can use quick pictures to subtract, which is what we just went over in the first one anyways. So it says, use a quick picture to model 2 and 82 hundredths minus 1 and 47 hundredths. Because it's subtraction, we only draw out our first number. So in this case, that is 2 and 82 hundredths. They drew that right here. So there's two ones, 8 tenths and there was two hundredths. Step one is to subtract the hundredths. And are there enough hundredths to remove? No, there was not, because we're trying to take seven from two. So that means that we needed to regroup, and that's what they did right here. They circled the tenth and crossed it out, and then added in ten more hundredths. Okay? Now that I have enough, I need to cross out seven, because that's what this one is, seven of them, so. They circled the seven that they were going to cross out. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mine's a little different than theirs. That's okay. So the next step now is to subtract the tenths. And do we have enough to remove? So we're trying to remove 147, so we're trying to take away 4 tenths. 4 tenths, sorry about that extra line. Um, is there 4 tenths that we can take? That answer is yes. So we do not need to regroup. We just take the 4 and we can cross them out. Two, three, four. And then we subtract the ones, which there's just the one, and that's crossed out. And you can see that from up here, they just took the five that we did not cross out and brought them down here. So our final answer, if we draw it, we should have one hole and three tenths and five hundredths. Just to do a quick check on it, it's two uh, and eighty-two hundredths minus one and forty-seven hundredths with our decimals. Make sure they're lined up. We regroup, which we did. Twelve minus seven is five. Seven minus four is three. We ended up with three tenths. So that is what we ended up with. So this picture is just a representation of what you're doing with the numbers. We'll go through number one together before I release you for your share and show. So again, with it being subtraction, 
And the quick picture is only of the first number. So there's six tenths, there's a group of five and one, and then two hundredths, two hundredths. We need to take away eighteen hundredths. So we start with the eight, that's eight hundredths. Can I take away eight from two? No, I cannot. So I'm going to circle this one and cross it out. And I'm going to add ten hundredths because I'm that's what I'm doing. I'm breaking the tenth up. Now can I take away the eight? I can. So I'm going to just cross out each individual one. So there's five, six, seven, eight. And now I see how many hundredths I have left. Okay, I've taken away my eight. Now I go to my tenths. I need to take away one tenth. So I'm going to cross out this one tenth. And then what's left? Well, I have one, two, three, four tenths left, and there's my decimal. And I had one, two, three, four hundredths. So my answer is 44 hundredths. And that's exactly how a subtraction quick picture will look. Now you need to work through the rest of the Sharon shows. I need to see the pictures. You draw the first number, and then you take away the second number, regrouping as you need. Press pause and get to work. So far I had to regroup my hundredths for number two. Now I need to take away four of those hundredths. Okay, and how many hundredths are left? There are five, six, and seven left. And now I need to take away seven tenths, but I only have three. So I am going to take one of these ones, cross it out, and I'm going to have ten tenths. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I need to take away 7. So that's 5, 6, 7. So how many do I have left? I have 3, 4, 5, 6 left. That's the tenth, so there's my decimal. And now I need to take away 1, 1. And that means I have 1 left. The rest of these problems I'm going to move through very quickly due to time constraints for the video length. And our last one, we have one whole, three tenths, and seven hundredths. We need to take away two hundredths without regrouping. I can do that. And then I need to take away five tenths, but I cannot do that. So I need to regroup this into ten tenths. And now I can take away five, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> and what is left, I have eight tenths and five hundredths. If you made some mistakes and you understand how, go ahead and fix them. If you need additional help, please let me know. Otherwise, you may work on the rest of your packet and other tasks.